Let's talk more about the president. I'm joined by Niall Gardner, director of the Margaret Thatcher Centre for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation and uh, a former foreign policy advisor to candidate Mitt Romney and Margaret Thatcher. Very good to see you, Niall. Very well. Great, great Place then uh, to, to comment on what the president has achieved and uh, what he's done in the, the UK, and in particular this, this convention, I suppose, that a, a foreign politician doesn't intervene in domestic policies. He seems to have dived right in on the most sensitive and divisive issue, and I'm talking, of course, about Brexit. Well, certainly, I think the president holds very strong views on Brexit. He's a big Brexit backer. In fact, Brexit, I think, is very much part of Donald Trump's DNA, really, and so he sees Brexit as fundamentally important to US strategic interests. Yeah, because, of course, he was in Scotland the day after the Brexit referendum, or sorry, the, the yes. EU referendum, yeah. and, uh, and saw then and linked it yes. at that point. He was, yes. he was candidate Trump. He linked it to his uh, yes, campaign. Yes, exactly. I think he, he feels that uh, Brexit gave his own campaign tremendous uh, momentum actually, and uh, Trump is certainly a big believer in sovereignty and self-determination. So he weighed in this week on the Brexit uh, debate. I think his views are very clear uh, that in order for the United States to sign a free trade agreement with the United Kingdom, Britain needs to be fully outside of the EU. And Theresa May's proposals, as far as Donald Trump views it, is, uh, is far too weak, I think. And so he, de he definitely raised that issue. I think he was right, actually, to, to do so but in this it's, it's particular the, it's case. the manner of the raising, isn't mm. it? I mean, you know, no, uh, the gloves are off in the, mm. in the private talks, on the talks with your officials, but uh, in the press, in Britain's most popular newspaper. Yeah, very significant. I, I'm sure the president uh, was fully aware that his remarks would create quite a, quite a stir. Uh, I believe that he wanted his views clearly known on this particular uh, matter. And, of course, there's widespread uh, concern here in, here in London over Theresa May's proposal. We've seen the resignation of two major uh, cabinet uh, figures, mm -hmm. uh, widespread discontentment among Conservative MPs. And so I think that, uh, you know, Donald Trump really wanted to send a very clear message with this interview to, uh, to the Sun. And Brexit really does matter, I think, to, to the United States. And a successful Brexit with a truly sovereign Great Britain is fundamentally important to US strategic interests. So I think he was right to, uh, to you know, give his okay. views on this. So, yep. so what do you read into, then, for the future of a trade deal, into mm -hmm. this, this, this new term from Donald Trump about the special relationship? And I asked my previous guest about it as well. The, the highest level of special. Is, has something changed there, or is this just Trump hyperbole? I think uh, Donald Trump genuinely believes in the special relationship. He has a real affection for Great Britain and the British uh, people. After all, his own mother is Scottish. Uh, and, uh, and so he's somebody who I think really understands the, the huge importance of the alliance between the United States and the United Kingdom. And I think he made that fundamentally yeah, we're told behind clear the scenes here. He doesn't like Theresa May lecturing him. He thinks he's a bit school marmish. Well, certainly there have been reports along those lines, although they seem to you know, get on uh, pretty well uh, today. Uh, but also, Donald Trump is, is a real Eurosceptic, actually. So he is very, very wary of the European Union. And he believes that Britain would be far better off as a completely sovereign nation and a better partner and ally for, uh, for the United States if it could fully extricate itself from the shackles of the, of the okay. EU. That, that was made uh, absolutely Well, in clear. terms of extricating yeah. itself from yeah. the shackles, what could it expect, though, from a Trump-led America? America first. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the tariffs have been going up all over the place. I mean, yeah. any negotiation between the, the lesser party and the mighty United States, who's going to win in that <laughs> in terms of trade negotiations? Uh, I think it's in uh, the interest of both sides to have a a full comprehensive trade deal that basically eliminates uh, tariff barriers on both sides. And so Donald Trump certainly is applying tariffs against the European Union. But with Britain leaving the EU, it should face no tariffs at all from the United States. So that's as long as it that's doesn't impose any on the United States. So on yeah, and I think it, ha it has to be a reciprocal... And allows uh, it into the NHS. It has to be a reciprocal relationship. Ooh. And after all, this is a hugely important uh, economic relationship between the, the world's uh, largest and fifth largest economies. Now, Gardner, very good to see you. Thank you very My much pleasure, for your you. thoughts. And you're watching Sky News tonight.